Today we're going to introduce the Vantage Equinox video widget. What I'm holding here is an iPad mini. Of course we could use a full iPad, you could use your iPhone, or you could use the Android equivalents of the same. We are at the dashboard layer and I'm going to go ahead and dive straight into the second layer. Now I am in the theater viewing location and it is off. Down here where it says theater, the name of the viewing location, that is my actual button for powering it on. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. Notice that it turns ochre, representing that the power is turned on to the zone. Now I'm waiting for the projector to turn on and in the meantime let's talk just a little bit about what we have. In this current viewing location, if I were to take a look at the list of my sources, I have four sources that I can choose from. Uh, if I want to look at other viewing locations in the project or in the home, I've got uh, theater, kitchen TV, family room, and the guest room TV. Let's just go to the family room and here then we would have control over the devices in the family room. Now as that projector comes on, we'll go ahead and return back to the theater so that we have local control of our, de of our demonstration. I'm currently uh, showing the Blu-ray. Now on the left hand side what we have is the name of the source that's currently selected as well as transport controls. We already saw the zone power button and then we've got volume up and down buttons. On the right hand side are the remaining <clears throat> buttons that are used to control the currently selected device. So I've got transport, I've got menu and device menu. Down here I have a an eject button and then I've got a couple of uh, power icons. Now the, power, the, the regular power icon is for the current device and so it's lit up indicating that, that it is on right now and next to that in the bottom left corner is the display power so I could toggle the projector power on or off with that. Now as we swipe sources that actually is going to change on the projector. Now not only is the projector changing, but we're also changing the input on the receiver. And you notice the cable satellite showed up down there. Um, I don't actually have a satellite receiver attached here, so we can just talk through the fact I've got my, uh, my transport buttons. I've got my keypad so that I can dial up a channel. I've got my transport page up and down, my colors, my uh, exit, my record. I've got menu, guide, recorded TV, and my device menu. Now, that... <clears throat> Those particular buttons may change a little bit depending on the satellite that you're using, uh, but in general we've normalized so that no matter which system you have, you have a pretty much of the same interface. Now let's go ahead and swipe over to our media server, our Apple TV, and here as we uh, go ahead and hit the, the menu on that, then we have our uh, selections that we can go through. This, so this is our media server and then our transport. There's not a whole lot of controls. Now notice though that no matter which source I am on I have the uh, power button for the display so that remains constant no matter which device I'm on. Now if we go back to the Blu-ray um, let's go ahead right now we're currently uh, it says play movie I'm going to navigate over and you can see that it is responding to my uh, touches so if we go over and we select a particular scene that we want to view and wait for that to come up and to start to play and uh, as that's playing if we want to fast forward we can fast forward or we could rewind we could uh, go ahead and do a, a next chapter so we have all of our controls here um, I do want to demonstrate that if we were to turn this off and uh, it takes a couple of seconds for this to turn off, if we turn this off or if we aren't viewing it for a long time and it thinks it's inactive, it's going to turn itself off. As I swipe to a different source and then I want to come back to that source, I want that to turn itself on. Notice that it is turning on. So uh, we will show you in a subsequent uh, segment how to implement that uh, power on as soon as that source is selected. Now a couple of more things we want to see at this level. Notice up at the top left it says HDMI 1. Basically that is the projector 
showing you the input that is selected. And every time I change sources, even though they're all using that HDMI 1, every time it's going to pick that as my, or it's going to show that that is the currently active source. Now, <clears throat> we want to talk a little bit about um, devices such as gaming consoles that we can't control directly here. So because we can't control those, typically the user is going to have their own gaming console uh, controls, remote controls. We just put on here a statement that uh, says use the PS3 remote for control because we don't have the ability to actually operate, manipulate that from here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go back to our, sorry about that, go to our satellite. And if I go back now to the first layer or the dashboard layer, notice that what we have access to at this layer is power, volume up and down, and transport. And so, you know, if we're watching TV, we want to pause and, and fast forward and that sort of thing, we probably have most of the controls we need, but if we need more than that, we'll dive down deeper to the second layer. Now, the last thing that we want to uh, talk about is the editing layer. So if we go to editing, notice here that we have the ability to select and order the zones as they present themselves within the current um, profile. If I didn't want in this profile to see and control the guest room, I would just deselect it. Sources then we could go through and we could say, well, there's certain sources here that we do or we do not want to have uh, enabled and we could do, disable those if we wanted to. And so now as we wait for that, those changes to take effect, then we can go back and we can see, number one, that I no longer have a guest room zone to view within this profile. And then if I go back to my theater, I no longer have my Xbox because I took that out. Well, this concludes our demonstration of the Equinox video widget. Um, in subsequent segments, we will show you how to implement the um, the background for this within Design Center.